Hey Warriors, I'm just kidding, anyways, hey Warriors, welcome to Keon Play, sing your I love that party, you see more sound of story, let's continue on. I got a yawn, but it's not gonna happen. Keon, are you ready? Yumiko and Masuko are helping me pack when Sasuke arrives to fetch me. I look over the room one last time, satisfied with how clean I have left it. You really cleaned up, huh? I did a little extra since they let me stay here for so long. We told you that you didn't have to do that, Lady Keon. We did. It was our honor to serve you, Lady Keon. We truly enjoyed our time with you. Thank you for saying that. I'll remember this always. After all, I don't think I'll ever have my own handmaids again. Lady Keon, I take each of their hands in one of mine, trying to diffuse the sadness in their, the room. I'm glad I met you both. Be well, Yumiko and Masako. I'll, I'll never forget you. I won't forget you either. We'll come visit you in the capital someday. When you do, I'll see you at the restaurant. With a smile, I finish my farewell, then turn back to Sasuke. Sasuke, shall we go? Got it! Is that all your luggage? He tilts his head in confusion as everything I intend to take with me fits in a single bundle. I just started and you just want to end it that fast? Good gosh. Okay. I remember that. You better not end fast on this one. Not much for a girl, is it? I left all of the kimono I was given. I don't deserve them. I see. That sounds like something you would do. Sasuke is going to be taking me to Kyoto today. Lord Nobuyuki is going to the, remain here to take care of Sazo. Which means Lord Yukimura is going to the front without his two most trusted men. Freaking ads in notifications. Why won't you buck off? I don't care. I don't care. I don't. Stupid notifications. Anyways, stop this. There's no point in you thinking about it anymore. Ready to get going? Yeah. I follow Sasuke taking one last look at my room before I go. I cannot help but sigh sadly thinking about what I could have done. I mean, could have been. We make our way through the castle town in the... I don't even know what the fuck that is. I said the B. I said it as a B. B-U-K. No, B-U-C-K. Yeah, B-U-C-K. It's not a bad word. The town peoples are gossiping relentlessly as if they've got word about the Takata army. Apparently, Oda and Tokugawa want to completely destroy them. If the castle is taken, his outliers are going to turn on him one by one. True, but I've heard that Lord Yukimura held up the enemy so the army could escape. Held up? I grip the sleeve of my kimono tightly as I listen to the gossip outside the... Pa... Linquin. So he tried, I mean, so he trapped himself with the rear guard. They're not going to stop until he dies. Until he dies.
the story is almost over. It's ending soon. Until he dies. Hey, you guys, don't cry. That's in horrible, honor, honorable thing. That just as we should expect from Lord Yukimura. The gloom has spread even to the t town below the castle. It's enough to break my heart all over again. I can't believe it's gotten that bad. The palanquin stops in front of the main gates. I look outside of the politeness or pollutness, whatever, and meet the eyes of the red looking guard. Take care, Lady Keon. I will. You too, take care. The guard offers me a soft smile. The people of Yuda for a short time. To them, I was Lady Sonda. But now I was leaving them behind to return to my old life in Kyoto. As they carry me through the gates, it feels as if I'm leaving all my hopes here with them. As we go down the mountain road, suddenly Sasuke sticks his head through the curtain of the palanquin. Kian, take this! Huh? Sasuke holds out a red pomegranate. Momo Fuku brought it. I see that owl on your shoulder. That is so cute. He happily strokes the owl on his shoulder. Wow, Momofuku really can't do anything. He's no ordinary owl. After all, we're best friends for life. Yeah, I can tell Momofuku really likes you. I take the pomegranate and carefully wipe, wrap it in a cloth. Sasuke looks at me with his most grown up smile. Don't worry too much about Lord Yukimura. This sort of thing happens in war all the time. Sasuke. I am sure that he must be hurting too, but he is putting his own feelings aside to care for me. He's only a little boy, but he's so much stronger than I am. Thank you, Sasuke. You too, Monofuku. I give him my best smile, which he returns with one of his own. Don't forget about me when you're back in Kyoto, got it? I couldn't if I want to. Now that's rude. That's rude saying that. I'm going to say I definitely won't. I definitely won't. Promise? Yeah, I promise. This is the first full conversation we've had since we met. I was surprised by how bossy he was at first, despite being the same age as Yahiko. But it did not take long to see how strong and caring he is, and I have truly come to care for him too. Sasuke, thank you for everything you've done for me. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but it is, it's sad. It is sad. I admit that. It's sad. Hey. What are you thanking me for? I wouldn't be much up. Uh anyone if I didn't help those who were weaker than me now would I he's a lot like Yukimura in some ways suddenly Manafuku shoots loudly breaking me out of my ravine whatever the freak that was Sasuke immediately looks dead serious Kian wait here Sh sure they stop at the Pa Lequin and I get out to look around. Oh, there is Sasuke already making his way up 
a tall tree. When he reaches one of the top branches, he goes ashamed. Then he comes back down as effortlessly as a bird in flight. What are what are they doing in a place like this? What is it, Lord Sasuke? There's a large hidden army just ahead. What? A large army? How could that be? Most of Lord Takata troops should be with Lord Yukimura. I immediately start to feel sick, pressing my hand to my chest to keep the bow from right rising in my chest, I um, mean my throat. I look back at the Yudit castle in the distance. Sasuke, let's go back to the castle quickly. Oh no, this is not good. This is not good. Everybody's gonna have a. Everybody's gonna die. They all gonna die. We need to warn them. What do you mean? Just hurry up and go. You'll be able to warn Lord Nobuyuki much faster on your own. Okay, I'm going to get one more look at them before I go. Sasuke makes his way up the tree once more. He's looking down trying to discern just how many of them there are when... Ah! Suddenly someone grabs me from behind. What? Keon! Sasuke jumps from the tree and rushes towards us with his short sword in hand. However, the man appears from nowhere and easily stops him. Yeah, Is it a ninja? Is it one of the ninjas? The retainers we brought with us as well are quickly dispatched. Although there appears to be two men, I hardly had time to blink before it was all over. They're so strong. Keon, just hang on. I'll save you. As Sasuke once again tries to move towards him, I shout despite the strong arm across my throat. Don't move. If he moves, they'll cut him down like the others. I'm sure of it. What am I going to do? I bit down hard on my lip, having no idea. Until slow clapping breaks through the din. Is it Iyasu? A man is walking towards us at a leisurely, bemused pace. Is it Iyasu? I thought you were just another one of these idiot girls. What? For peace, but you might just be the score after all. Your. I hear his name in my mind in Yukimura's voice from that time in the shot. Yep, it's Iyasu. Tokugawa Iyasu. Do forgive me. Taking down the weak is just part of the game. You see, so you would be Lady Kion then, Yukimura's wife. How does he know my name? I don't think I said anything before. It's lovely to see you again. His grin turns even more sinister than before. In the, that grin, the darkness was undeniable. A darkness that never seemed to fit with that smile or the times it was given. To be continued, warriors. I freaking knew it was Iyasu that came into. I, I knew it. I knew it. What kind of story mission? What kind of story mission? Damn it, it's skill points. I don't got enough skill points. But I do have a letter. Let me close this. Close that. Close it. Uh, I, I, I don't need that much, but I will get it. One way or another. One way or another. I'm gonna find you. I'm gonna get you, get you, get you, get you one way. Okay, I'll shut up. Anyways. Uh, excuse me. I have two letters to read because last time I was here, I could not read Mini Sasuke Sensei. 
I can't believe that Sensei would get himself injured so badly. He's never had more than maybe just a scrape or two. If he dies, I don't know what I'm going to do. It's Mini Sasuke. From Sada Nobuyuki. Anytime. This is between you two, so I won't meddle all that much. But if you ever want to come back to Yuta, feel free. I will forever think of you as family, Keon. Nobuyuki Sana. Okay, Warriors, I'm going to go ahead and end it. So stay off, take care. Till next time, Keon plays Samurai Love Bad Party. Yuki Morisanda's story, the ending of it. Bye!